Okay guys, video you've been waiting for, this is the 10 reasons why you should buy the Royal Enfield or why I think you should buy the Royal Enfield Himalayan. Right, the first reason and the, a good reason for everybody when you're looking to purchase anything is value for money and cost. Now, value for money on the Royal Enfield here in Europe, it's 4,600 euros on the road and an additional 600 euros for the adventure kit the adventure kit comprises of the frames either side the panniers on the back and the engine guards which aren't fitted to this bike at the moment because they're still on order there's been a bit of a backlog from india with covid and the suez uh, canal getting blocked etc so we're still waiting on parts so still haven't got them at the moment but 4600 euros for what you get the bike you get for that money is incredible. In the UK, it's now, I believe, about £4,400, which is well over €5,000. So here in Europe, it's considerably cheaper than in the UK. Uh, so value for money, it's a great buy at £4,600. For the equipment, the bike, even without the luggage, the extra carrying capacity, the side rails on the back, everything you can clamp to, the... Uh, boot rack on the back it's a really good value proposition for 4600 euros the second one and this is uh, linked to the first one and also vitally important really is the fact that the bike comes with three years manufacturer's warranty which is uh, pretty amazing most bikes uh, here in europe are two years this is a three years uh, manufacturer's warranty you guarantee and also Besides the three years warranty, you get three years roadside assistance. <clears throat> so if you break down anywhere in Europe, anywhere really, wherever you're touring, you get the number out, you ring up and you get free roadside assist, which is uh, another great uh, advantage. So they're the two prime reasons why the Royal Enfield is a good buy for the money. Number three on my list is uh, looks, looks of the bike. Uh, to be honest, it's a bit of a Marmite situation. Uh, a lot of people hate it, a lot of people love it. I particularly uh, like it. I don't think there's anything else like it on the market. Some people say it's got a bit of a retro feel, but I think it's uh, a unique design all of its own. And I think it's been really well thought out. The fact that you've got this uh, extra luggage equipment, uh, the bars turning within the luggage so you can, you can use them and utilize them. And the basic overall design looks fit for purpose. <clears throat> it's a rugged overall look. Uh, the tank design, everything about it, I, uh, I really like the aesthetics of the bike. So that's my third reason for buying the bike. Fourth re reason for buying the bike, and this is a, a really important one for anybody who buys a bike. There's nothing worse than buying a bike, having it for a few days, riding it, and not really gelling with the bike or liking it. A lot of bikes you can, you can gel with in time and get used to, but from day one, as soon as you ride the Royal Enfield Himalayan, it's a very, very comfortable ride very very well planted on the road uh, so the rideability and the handling of the bike are actually superb for what i personally want it for and what it's designed to do number five on the list is again similar to number four but capability the bike itself will go literally anywhere that you take it providing you don't try and use it as a dedicated off-road bike it's not that it's an adventure bike so the bike has got 200 mil of uh, clearance on the suspension which is about eight inches and it'll go over most terrain fire trails mud uh, tracks muddy fields etc you'll get pretty much anywhere on it providing you don't go over huge great rocks that are going to hit the sump guard etc etc like you could on a, an off-road bike or a trials bike uh, so yeah the uh, go anywhere capability of the bike is uh, a really really uh, useful thing to have and it's a thing that most people purposely buy this bike for you've got a smallish engine it is heavy but it will go anywhere and once you get it moving it's uh, it's a nice bike to ride number six accessories now straight out the uh, straight out the factory when you get the bike obviously unless you get the adventure pack you don't get the uh, rear racks you don't get the extra baggage uh, luggage racks that bolt on you just get the rear uh, tail rack which got a 7 kg capacity but if you get the adventure pack these are really really well made the accessories for the Royal Enfield the overall build is the money is really really astounding you've got large capacity luggage racks on the back really really
really sturdy. I mean, my initial idea was if you put anything heavy on it, it's going to move the frame slightly, but the frame is so solid, it's pointed, uh, bolted on in multiple places down here, on the top, at the back, it goes right around the back of the bike. Uh, really, really well thought out of good capacity luggage. There's no cutout for the exhaust, etc., because it sits above the exhaust. Front luggage we actually touched on uh, previously, but great for putting extra fuel cans on if you want to go uh, long distance. Extra luggage. The tank's a good shape for putting the saddlebag on. <coughs> You've got plenty of room across the accessories to strap stuff over onto the rear seat. And all in all, the accessories that you can buy are endless, either whether they be Royal Enfield uh, official accessories or aftermarket accessories. There's a good market for accessories for the Royal Enfield Himalayan. So that's another good uh, reason to buy. So number seven on the list of uh, reasons to buy, especially here in Europe. In Spain, uh, motorbikes in general tend to have a good resale value, mainly because uh, in the past there's been a long financing period on a lot of bikes and up to 10 years in some cases, after five years or so, there's still a large residual value. So they tend to hold the value quite well. The Himalayan especially, if you were to buy one second hand, 12, 18 months old, two years old, they're still selling here in Spain for above the 4,000 mark, maybe 4,002, 4,003. When you consider the new price is 4,006, there's only a drop of 300, 400 euros on a resale value. And when you bear in mind that when you roll the Royal Enfield out of the garage initially, a large amount of the 4,600 you pay is the value added tax that's put onto the vehicle. So effectively, second hand bikes, if you look at it in that sense, are selling at a higher value because once the VAT's paid, it's sent off in revenue to the government and it's done and dusted. So second hand bikes have no VAT added to them. So the resale value is in some ways higher than the initial price, which is often a good reason to buy a new bike in Spain. Eighth reason I've got on my list is the tank size and capacity. We've got a roughly 15 litre tank, maybe just under 15 litres. And most people on the trip on the tank, full to empty if you're going to empty out totally, it's about a 400 kilometre range. And that's not a range that you could use because obviously you'd run dry, but this tank will hold about 400 kilometres of juice. And the general amount people are getting is about 29 kilometres per litre uh, in the average session on the, uh, on the trip on the uh, bike. So really economical to run. Go for a long, long time on a litre, go a long, long time on a gallon if you're in Imperial. And uh, really frugal to uh, run. Insurance is cheap, it's only a small capacity engine. Okay guys, number nine on my list of uh, top ten reasons to buy the Royal Enfield. And number nine is the reason, one of the main reasons I bought this bike, is the fact that I live in a region or an area where the A-roads are really, really bad, really shaly, really gravelly really difficult to ride on and also if we look up in the distance you can see the mountains we're surrounded by mountains fire trails and roads and this bike for what i want it for is a perfect setup so a bike that's enjoyable to ride rides really well on the country roads and to be honest out of all the bikes i own this is the nicest bike to ride on the rough roads around here the other bikes jay about you get rocked about this one just sails over the bumps and it's an absolute joy to ride. So my environment is uh, number nine on the list of uh, reasons and the reason, the main reason why I bought the Himalayan. The final one and number 10 in my list of top 10 reasons to buy the Royal Enfield is for me, the bike is more usable. When I say more usable, my other bikes don't have panniers on the side, so if I'm going on my other bikes, I tend to ride them just for a commute, a bit of fun, I'll go for a tour around, uh, go on a journey. But if I'm going anywhere I need to get anything, even if it's the local uh, town, which is about 20 clicks away, 20 kilometres away, I would tend to use the car to go and uh, pick anything up. What I find now is I often just uh, come out, jump on this bike. The capacity of the panniers on the side is great, the high capacity you can carry a lot of stuff in them. So I find myself jumping on this more than I ever jumped on uh, my other two bikes. Very practical, easy to ride, and that gives the whole purpose of buying the bike for me more practicality for everyday use. I'm actually using the bike to do other things than just go out and have a ride. So I'm using it to go and buy different things if I need to go and buy uh, purchases or go to the local store and get things. I tend to use the bike because I can fit everything into the panniers, obviously. So it's more practical and 
that gives me more reason to jump on it instead of jumping in the car and going to get something I'd much rather jump on the bike and because it's so nice to ride it handles so well on the roads I tend to uh, take the Royal Enfields more than any other bike that I've got so practicality use the setup of the bike how it rides how it takes the uh, rough roads and the terrain in its stride is a big uh, bonus for this particular bike so that's my 10 top reasons for buying the bike or why I think you should buy the bike yours may differ you may have a few of the reasons for not buying it and the 10 uh, reasons for not buying the bike but all in all for me it's a great bike it's uh, fit for purpose ideal for the mountains that I live in up here with the country roads and uh, a good all-rounder so guys uh, give me a like give me a thumbs up uh, subscribe to my channel Ask me any questions below about the bike. If you're thinking of buying one, it's much better to ask questions before you buy it and I'll give you an honest, straight answer. Uh, it's pointless buying a bike and then being disappointed if you buy the bike without having a proper test ride and getting the facts beforehand. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Peace out, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.